Hi, welcome to Learning Monkey. I am Raghuvir. In this class, we will discuss about uh, some practice examples in identifying the first symbols for a given context-free grammar. In our last class, we clearly discussed about how to identify the first symbols. Please watch that class and come back here. This is just for practice examples. Coming to the practice examples, S tends to A, capital B, capital D and H. B tends to C, capital C, C tends to B, capital C or Epsilon, D tends to E, F, E tends to G or Epsilon, F tends to F or Epsilon. This is the context free grammar that has given. So in order to identify the first of S, first of S is given as, what's the first terminal symbol it is showing? A. So the first of S is equal to A. Similarly, first of B is equal to the first terminal is C. So first of B is C. First of C is B comma Epsilon. You can take B or Epsilon. First of C is equal to B comma Epsilon. Now coming to the next one. First of D is we will calculate using first of E. So first we have to calculate first of E. First of E is G comma Epsilon. G is a terminal symbol Epsilon. So first of E is G comma Epsilon. First of F is F comma Epsilon. Now coming to the first of D. First of D is E. First of E. So what is first of E? G comma Epsilon. If you place G in place of E, what's the first symbol it is going to encounter? It is going to encounter G. If you place Epsilon in place of E, what's uh, D is going to encounter? First of F. What's first of F? F comma Epsilon. If you place F in place of capital F, F is going to encounter. If both are Epsilons, if you place E Epsilon, F Epsilon, Epsilon is going to encounter. That's why the, the first of D is given as G comma F comma Epsilon. So this is very important to understand. That's why we have chosen this example. Now coming to the next example. S yes tends to A, A tends to A capital B or A, A D, B tends to B, C tends to G. Here, this is a left recursive grammar. So, we need to eliminate left recursion, then we have to identify the first symbols. So, how to eliminate left recursion was discussed in our previous classes. So, we are not going to discuss it again. S yes, tends to A. This is the grammar which we got after eliminating the left recursion. S yes, tends to A. A tends to A. Capital B or uh, A dash. A dash tends to D. A dash or Epsilon. B tends to B. C tends to G. Uh, now coming to the first symbols. It is very simple. First of S is equal to first of A. First of A is equal to the first symbol is A. Small A. So first of S. First of A is equal to A. Now coming to the first of A dash, A dash is equal to D comma Epsilon, you can take D or Epsilon, first of B is B, first of C is G, it's very simple, the point you have to understand, you have to eliminate the left recursion. Now coming to the next one, E tends to T E dash, this is the grammar which we use to identify the expressions in our previous classes for, uh, based on plus and star symbol, it is following the precedence and associative properties. E tends to T E dash, E dash tends to plus T E dash or Epsilon, T tends to F T dash, T dash tends to star F T dash or Epsilon, F tends to ID or bracket E. First of E is equal to, first of E is equal to first of T. First of T is equal to first of F. First of F is equal to ID or open bracket. So that's why first of E, first of T, first of F is equal to ID comma open bracket. Why we have chosen this? This is the point you have to understand. First of E is first of T, first of T is first of F first of f this is how we go so e can take either the first terminal symbol as id or open bracket that is the point you have to understand why we are stressing this point this point is helpful in our coming classes when we discuss about ll1 lr of 0 all those things now coming to the f of e dash e dash is equal to plus or epsilon plus comma epsilon f of t dash is a star comma epsilon star is a terminal symbol epsilon so star comma epsilon this is how we calculate the first for the given context free grammar hope you understand the concept if you have any questions regarding the concept please post your questions in the comment section below thanks for watching if you haven't subscribed to our channel please subscribe to our channel and press bell icon for the latest updates thank you